Well, the Conference Board's Consumer Confidence Index hit an all-time high here, uh, or 17-year high in February, but it's been rocking along at a very, very high level since then. And so, you know, the July numbers are up a little bit over June. But the, the numbers say that the consumers don't expect a big hockey stick from here, big, huge increases, but they do expect the economy to rock along at these very high levels for some time to come. Now, a lot of this is tied to job creation, and we saw some big numbers last month with about 600,000 people re-entering the workforce. So that's labor supply coming off the sidelines and into the workforce, which is why the unemployment rate hit about 4% again last, uh, last month. But this is all very good. They don't expect big changes. They don't expect uh, you know, upwards or downwards, but they expect this to grow. So I think that it's really keyed into jobs here. You know, some of the things that could derail all of this are what we've been talking about, of course, which is trade, you know, prices, uh, inflation, and so forth, and then, you know, big interest rates hikes, which are not expected in any of this, but those are the kinds of things that could derail this, but they're not expected to happen. Do you... Do you have any concern that some of that upward momentum that lifted... Uh, the, the index of consumer confidence to the high in, in February. Do you draw any conclusions from the fact that the momentum seems to have leveled off? Or is that just something no, you live with? I mean... No, no, no. I think it's really good, Tyler, because it's at very, very high levels, you know. So, you know, at some point, you know, you're going to... You can't just keep going to the moon. So it's, it's really at a very, very high level. But look, you know, the things that could derail it, of course, are if, if we get into a trade war. Now, we heard Jamie Dimon say that... Uh, you know, that there's still, it's a trade skirmish, I think is what he called it. But there's, there's a lot of uh, optimism on that with the discussions in Europe last week and the discussions in Mexico last week and the determination of the U.S. and the EU to hold firm against China. But now we're hearing the back door is open with China. You know, from a trade perspective, consumers kind of are neutral on it. There's some that say, you know, this is an issue. Most of them say it's Steve, not an issue. To the degree that trade has become so controversial, the news that there's going to be more trade packs, would that be good or bad for consumer confidence, considering the way all these trade packs have been painted by both parties over the last couple of years? Well, you're exactly right. And it, it, there's so much noise out there that the consumers are sort of numb to it. So it's not really impacting consumer confidence at this point, which says, I guess, they're smarter than the rest of us. Uh, in, in all of it. But, you know, the, the prices are something that they're keeping an eye on. I think interest rates, because, you know, you're seeing housing, uh, housing purchasing starting to decline a little bit. So I think that uh, I think interest rates are having a little bit of effect there. But the big impact is jobs. And as yeah. long as the jobs keep creating, it's great. We're at an all time high uh, gap between the number of jobs that are open, 7 million jobs, and the number of people that are looking. So this is really good for the job seekers right now. But their short-term outlook has dipped a bit. What, what, what's the problem there? Well, I think it's the expectations, uh, the lack of expectation that we're going to go to another step function higher uh, on it. it. They expect it to stay high. They don't see anything really happening here in the short run. But, um, you know, it, it's a matter of there, there are no uh, indicators that say that there's going to be a big pop uh, in, in the economy. But again, a very, very high level. Right. So I think all of this is very positive. Do you think, you really think that uh, trade issues resonate with consumers in the aggregate? I mean, they, they're concerned about their jobs, they're concerned about prices, and they're concerned about taxes. Beyond that, yeah, yeah. you're right, it's noise, <laughs> isn't it? It's noise. And, and I think they, they hear so much of it through political voices that it's just, it's right. just more noise coming from Washington. Where are the facts? They're going to watch the prices. And so if they start to see tariffs come into the pricing function, which hasn't really happened yet from a consumer standpoint, you know, then they'll start to worry about it, you know, as, as they start to put a label on it. But it's not an issue at this point.